Welcome uh, to the Fashion Week in Gambia 2023 uh, official press conference. We'd love to thank those uh, fantastic supporters, our partners uh, in business as well as our partners in the media who have been so kind to come today. We know that with the traffic and other eventualities, things have been very slow to start. So we thank you for your patience thus far. And we also thank those who are yet to come uh, to join in for the uh, questions and answers. So today we've got, um, we're hoping it's going to be short but sweet, uh, that it's going to be an open floor for everyone to air their queries, to air their, um, you know, to give proper information so that we can really kind of have a great feel as to what's uh, going to be going on today and next week on the 15th and 16th of uh, December. So without further ado, Thank you and welcome. So first up, I think uh, we will have the lovely Lena Yan, photographer, founder, um, just to give us a little of the background of Fashion Weekend, um, maybe to mention a few members of the team that are here present, and to hand the baton over to uh, anyone else who would like to um, uh, add a little bit. So pursing baki all of you. Welcome, Nyunglana Nuyu, Nyunglana Gerim. Fashion Weekend 2023. Nyunglana Gerim, 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 Okay, I am the co-founder of Fashion Week in Gambia. Uh, this year is our 11th year. We've been going since 20, thank you. <laughs> We've been going since 2012 and um, it's been a it's been a long journey, but it's been an exciting one. We've, when we first started, the idea behind the event was really to create a platform for young Gambian designers first and foremost. Uh, well, actually not just designers, but for young Gambian creatives. So uh, obviously in the show we involve designers, models, photographers, uh, artists. Uh, we've had upcoming artists participate several times. And uh, this year we are excited to have 20 designers participating over the two days. So as someone was saying, it's next weekend, 15th and 16th. We are working together with Combo Beach Resort to do the official launching of uh, this wonderful hotel. So we hope that everybody will come out and see what we have in store. As far as the designers that we have this year, um, we have a lot of new and upcoming Gambian designers, but we're also inviting international designers we have designers coming in from Guinea-Bissau, Senegal, Holland, um, I'm missing Sweden. Anyone? and Sweden. Uh, so we are very excited to have a, a nice mix of designers this year. The first night on Friday, uh, the opening night, we are focusing more on African traditional, uh, but creative some, something different. So although it's traditional, uh, we're looking at, well, our designers, I should say, are working with maybe traditional materials, traditional techniques, and making it into something new and different. So we're very excited about the designers that we have. Uh, so if you're coming for the first night, come in your African attire and dress up really nice with your head ties and your, uh, all the African flair. Uh, on the second night, we are focusing more on streetwear, uh, avant-garde, and also a bit of elegance. So it's a nice mix on the second night. So for anyone who's coming, make sure you buy your weekend pass. Uh, tickets are available on the Kashma app. So just download Kashma, and um, you'll find us there. On the services, you have tickets. Very easy to download. You just go and top up your account at any of the outlets. We'll any share. 44 different outlets. Yes, 44 different outlets. I think 45 now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's very easy to download the app and get your tickets. If you want, um, especially if you want uh, front row seating, make sure you get your tickets on the app. 
Um, so yes, I think that's all I have to say for now. Yeah. Maybe we can go into, we have Sally here. Uh, Sally Diata is the face of Fashion Weekend um, 2023. She has, uh, <laughs> she is an amazing model uh, that's been working with us for many years. Uh, and we have chosen her this year to be the face because she has been working very hard over the years. She's very committed, not only to Fashion Weekend, but to her, to her work. Uh, she has worked with many different designers over the years uh, and participated in many different campaigns. And we thought she would be an excellent uh, ambassador for Fashion Week in Gambia this year. Yeah. So, Absolutely. over to Sally. <laughs> Official face, <laughs> weekend gambling for 2023. Yeah. The beautiful, fantastic Sally Jatta. Hi, hello everybody. My name is Sally Jato, the face of Fashion Week in Gambia 2023. Um, I'm so happy to be part of the team. As they say, um, like hard work put me to this position today. So it's not really an easy thing to do, but we, have, we just have to be committed to what we are doing and, you know, have a passion in it. and. That's it. So um, for the show, it's on the 15th and 16th of December, and we would like everybody to come at Cumber Beach Resort. So the tickets are available at the Kashmir app. You can download the Kashmir app, and you will find a ticket there. All the information you need is there. So download the Kashmir app and get your ticket quickly before it's too late. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, and in fact, I was a bit hasty. I didn't really introduce um, everyone on the table as I possibly should have done. So it was a bit confusing. <laughs> um, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll bring people in. And obviously, um, even though we're going at quite a pace, um, our aim today, again, is to bring in all the different elements of the show. Um, and if you do bear with us, you will understand a little more why it's so kind of... Um, uh, jointed in this way. Um, so, without further ado, I will also introduce someone that you know well and love, I'm sure. Uh, and if not, let me introduce Rohi Kamara. Now, she's bringing a fantastic element uh, to the show that is very different to what we usually do. We're very, very, very known for bringing classic model um, looks uh, and aesthetic. Um, and over the years, we have been asked on many occasions to be more representative. Now, it was part of our strategy before we got to the, the ripe old age of uh, 11 editions. And now we think that we actually have um, the capacity and the partners in order to be able to bring um, something a bit more representative of who we are, what the world really looks like and what beauty looks like. So um, our partner in diversity, as far as the models and the looks uh, this year, will be Rohi Kamara. Uh, big and Beautiful is her brand. Big and Bold, sorry, Big and Bold, bold. is her brand. Rewind bold that, rewind that. Bold and Beautiful <laughs> is her brand. Yeah. Um, editing. Um, and uh, we're really proud of what she does, and I think, obviously, she'll be better at saying what she does than I have been. Thank you so much. Rahi Kamara. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Rohi Kamara, actress and producer, and the CEO of Jetta Musso, and the founder of Bull and Beautiful Plus Size Model Runway Show. And um, I'm super excited and happy to be in partnership with um, Fashion Week in Gambia, because um, it is a brand that has been showing proof to us like that. Um, and consistency as well, and they have been doing it for years. So them giving me the opportunity like to showcase um, my belief and um, to make a change through plus size models and through plus size individuals like, and um, raise awareness about cyberbullying, body shaming, and um, the issues that plus size women are going through um, in marriage, in relationship, and um, in 
society in general because um, the beauty standard of uh, our community <laughs> have to be you know slim skinny which is beautiful as well but people are built differently and there are other issues that women go through it's not just that uh, because okay fine um, you are big you love food there's more things to that than just um, you know the narrative that people are used to so the main reason why um we want to do this is to like raise awareness about cyberbullying body shaming and pcos which is ovary syndrome and this is something that um lots of women are going through all over the world and scientifically there's no cure so bold and beautiful brand is not just about fashion it has to do with um, raising awareness about PCOS and um, other issues as well. So I'm really excited to be here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And what I love about what she's bringing to the table is another of our massive passions. Whilst we're here to build the industry and here to partner with um, uh, corporate brands as well as with the youths uh, to bring something that, ha that we felt existed but not in the format that we wanted to see it in necessarily. Um, the health of our nation is something that we hold very dear. Um, our theme this year, sustainability, really plays into that. It's about business sustainability. If you can't feed yourselves, obviously we're not going to be doing well. But if you have all the money in the world and you have poor health, that's something that means, you know, you can't run your business, you can't think clearly, you can't operate how you mean to. And so this is why it's very important to us to have uh, brands that layer importance of things. Um, the commercial aspect of, yep, of course, I'm not going to fit into Sally's clothes. So I would love a brand that represents me, but still would love a brand that is represented by Sally or by Rohi. I think that that's um, a beautiful thing commercially. Um, and a brand that stands for standing for issues with people, speaking for people with um, less, of, less of a voice. Um, one of our partners who's here, we're going to lean into that a little bit more about the uh, digital and uh, the financial divide. You know that I'm, gonna, that, I'm, that I'm coming to you guys. So that leads us a little bit back into fashion. Very serious stuff, obviously. Uh, but a little more into the fun. So, one of the most fun brands around, I think we'll all agree. Uh, the Ministry of Enjoyment himself, as I like to call him. What? Yep. <laughs> Anzi's design. Um, officially a youth, uh, but I think now after seven years in business, he's really shown phenomenal growth, uh, a phenomenal capacity for partnership, um, and if you've seen Sally and Lena's fantastic uh, ad campaign for uh, this year, you will see his work. Um, again, before I get his brand name wrong, <laughs> let me hand over to um, Moses Ann of yes. Anzi's Design. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. So my name is Moses Ann, and I'm the founder of Anzi's Design. Which we design, which 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 I am, which I which I actually started. I'm sorry, I'm actually I'm, I'm a bit shy, and I would actually stammer a lot. So basically, Anzus Design is a brand that actually creates for both men and women, but in a fun way. So basically, my brand is about the the art, the not about the glamour, but the art, something that represents art, something that shows art, something that that is artistic that actually creates way to show what actually our culture represents and then to actually advocate the art in Africa. So basically, I've attended different shows when I actually started. I've actually, I actually started with Fashion Weekend, basically, yeah. I would actually say. My first runway show, I actually started with my own show, basically, which I was actually backed by Fashion Weekend without them knowing me. This was like around 20, was it 2015? 2015. Yeah, I started with them in 2015. So they were the ones to back me, but they didn't know who I was. They still supported my show, they did everything, but they didn't know who I was. So after 2015, I actually went to Fashion Weekend in 2016 as a model. So when I went to Fashion Weekend as a model, I, get to, I got to close for Medun. So when I closed for Medun, I was like, you know what? I'm going back into designing, because this, this is what I want, this is my passion. This was in 2016. 
So in 2017, I was like, you know what? It's time for Fashion Weekend. I went in to the marketplace and started selling as a, just like a normal designer, just to, start, to, just to study and know what I am getting myself into, into designing and everything, because you have to, you need to have a passion for what you're doing. If there's no passion, there's no work. So basically, I was like, you know what? I need to study my grounds on Fashion Weekend, on whatever I am doing in the industry of fashion and all those things. So I put myself in. So when I went to the marketplace, I loved it. So 20, 20, like, so I took a break for 2018, and I went back 2019 when I was ready to, be, to actually showcase my brand, to actually show people that, OK, this is what I do. So when I went there 2019, it was really good. I came out good, I came out wonderful. I actually loved what I created. And then that's when I actually got into something else. This was in 2020. I got a proposal that I had to attend the Ethiopian Fashion Week, which, was, which, were, which, which, which I got to represent my own country. Because it was the Africa Fashion Reception, basically, which we actually represent as designers the whole continent of Africa each designer is supposed to represent. So it was actually for a first task for me. It was like a major risk for me to actually go into it. So when I went into it, there were actually a few challenges and all those things, but when I went into it, it was like an open door for me. I got to go on different shows, got to not just focus on my own country, but I got to show my country what I am capable of and actually how I can represent them in a nice way, and then also give the credit to my own country. So basically, I started attending different shows, and then that's it, to cut the story short. When I came back, I got Fashion Weekend. And then this year, we're doing something big. Everybody knows that I'm into streetwear, I'm into like the craziness and everything, but this year, I am going in for Friday, the traditional night, which we're actually bringing the craziness of art. And it's, it, it's with somebody. Uh, she's right here, the founder of Fashion Weekend, the co-founder of Fashion Weekend, Lena. She's the one I'm doing the collab with. And I know that if it's already out, that everyone has seen the poster, the flyer, and everything. So we're coming different. So this year, we decided, OK, you know what? I'm not going to do what I usually do as Enzis, the brand that represents the streetwear, the, all those things. But this year, I'm coming in traditional with my partner over there, Lena. <laughs> so she, we've been like going back and forth here and there. We've been fighting for the collection because we want to give you guys a show. That's, that, that's what Fashion Weekend is all about, giving the people the show and then the art that what is missing. Because when they say traditional, it's like traditional is not just something, OK, must all have tan. I wear a half tan and then come in on a show. Because nobody wants to come in a show. And then we call it a traditional night. Yes, a designer can showcase a half tan and then comes into the show in a unique way, because it's a creation. That's what we call ourselves as designers. We sketch, we create, we create the patterns and cut and do everything different from what a tailor is doing. Like taking your stuff to a tailor and telling the tailor, okay, this is what I want, giving the tailor a style. So we are coming in some, with something different. So you guys just mark the date. I just don't want to go further, because if I go further, I'll just spill the so whole surprise here, the beans. <laughs> <laughs> so I just don't want to go further, but just mark the date is on the 15th and 16th of December. And then you can also get your tickets at Kashmir. I can see them looking at me. Look at them here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, get your, you can get your tickets at Kashmir. And then that's it. It's very simple. Just download the app. I have the app on my phone. Just download the app, put in your money, and then that's it. It's trustworthy. It's safe. There's no scamming. We're not going to scam you from your money. So just buy the tickets and then promote the show and promote young Gambian designers too, because this is what Fashion Weekend is all about, promoting what they have here. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good cause for us to actually support them and then give them their own credit to what they're doing for Gambian designers and also the whole continent of what we are actually, the, the show is all about. So I would say thank you and then I know I talk a lot. <laughs> Sorry guys, but then I would like to say thank you. And then yeah, prepare for the show. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Emsies. Um, we love the evolution uh, from a youth to someone who trains um, other designers, who trains other youths, helps organize uh, fashion shows, um, helps build the ecosystem, and of course, helps us 
uh, people who um, he's shown love and respect for. So on that very same note, other than the creatives right here with us today, um, it's time to have a little note of thanks for some of the others who have helped us be here, some of our corporate partners. So one of our main uh, partners is GT Board. Um, they feel very strongly that as stakeholders in what brings people to Gambia, not only Gambians, uh, but those who don't know much about our country, um, that we're doing a good job. And I think the conversations that we've had with them and the confidence that they've had in us, even from a very early start, things like we'd flip open the, the guidebook to the Gambia and we'd see pictures of our models and our designers and our stage setups and the hotels that we um, graced. And I think that, that uh, they really see the vision um, and they're not alone in that. We, it's been a difficult few years, especially since COVID, where everything pivoted, everything changed. We're seeing a lot of differences in our financial capability. There's a lot of wealth being shown, but not a huge amount of generosity. Uh, there's not been a huge amount of love and respect. And I think that this is one of the many ways that they really show, not giving lip service, but actually show the creative, show the youths, our beneficiaries, and uh, indeed our other partners, um, that they love and respect us. So we could not thank them enough for helping us be here. Vision, without the support to help it come alive, is, um, is, is very little and meaningless. Um, so we'd love to give a huge thank, uh, thanks, if you can bear with us, to list and name them all. It sounds like a long list, and it is. Um, it shows us how far we've come, and also how many generous uh, and um, smart people, may I add, there are uh, in the country. Um, so yeah, if we could maybe pick a few of them, and we'd like, some of them are here today, um, and we'd like them to come forward just to give a little hint of some of the things that they see and some of the reasons why. It's not everyone who wants to offer you partnership uh, and financial assistance that you must take. This is one of the things that we really stand for. Um, and I think the reason why we also ask some of them to be here is they believe in not only our vision, but in some of the things that we wish we could stand for better and they do it better than us. So we'd really love to, to, to say that. So, um, okay, so the first two, Combo Beach. As you can see, it's a work in progress, aren't we all? Um, it, they are doing phenomenal work. I've never seen anything so beautiful come up so fast. Um, we're gonna be proud to be uh, the first look. So we have been um, blessed with the blessing of um, starting their official launching. And that helps us bring some of our partners into a new space, into new ways of thinking and new ways of being. We're feeling like we're gonna start, end the year the way we mean to go on. We don't have to wait till January the 1st to start our new res year's resolutions. Uh, so that's one. GT Board, um, Visit Gambia. Um, I think, well, that says it all. Uh, Visit Gambia, because we're here as well. We're enjoying a lot of the things that they stand for as well, jobs. Uh, tourism, crafts, creativity, we've all been part of it, we've all enjoyed it. So I think um, uh, to applaud them for the work they've done and keeping us there uh, despite these difficult times, I think it's a beautiful thing. Odalise, another, well, I'm in Yayan, so food first. Um, absolutely love the work they do, love the care and craft and commitment that they have to their brand and also to coming forward and um, helping us. Best water. If you don't stay hydrated, you're not going to look pretty for long. The ladies here will be the first to tell us. Um, and again, that's part of our health and commitment. Natural water is one of the things that Gambians are known for, whether it be from our rivers, whether it be from our seascape. Um, and I think you'll be seeing some of those notes in some of the creative offers uh, that our designers uh, and our other creators will be giving. Um, GCCI, again, Bastions of Business, uh, it's not a brand, it's a brand that represents several uh, hundreds of brands, I think. Um, and again, that really stands for what we stand for. Um, Bolo, Mode Iniyip. 
uh, and we respect and love the fact that even when it comes to sponsorship, several of the brands come together, they make an agreement on the board, and I think that that's something that if we all did more often, uh, we would grow bigger and better, and we've, been be we've benefited from that. DHL. Gambian brands are not just selling to Gambians. If we don't get on board, we're not going to be able to enjoy the best of what we have to offer. Um, and it's one of our proud partners who appreciate more than anyone um, how much of our creatives work is going abroad. Again, I keep leaning into our, our, our next little hint. And this is another thing that I love. The discussions that we've had is making that business uh, with GCCI, with DHL, with um, any of the other brands, so much easier. Um, and I think I, I love that. Smart media, if you've seen our billboards, sadly the roads have um, gobbled up a few of them recently. <laughs> so you'll be seeing us here instead. Um, so think of this as a, as a walking, talking billboard. And um, if you see us uh, on the streets, we'll be happy to do the work of the billboard and to give you that little bit of a pitch. Um, Smart Media, thank you so much for that. The, um, uh, some of our branding beauty has come as a result of Lena's fantastic work as a graphic designer, Hotik Media's fantastic work as graphic design house, um, and um, they're, they're, they're putting it for posterity. Uh, web Design Gambia, if you've ever been to our website, thank God for them. I can barely work my phone, so thank you for that digital capability. Again, Kashma, the app, if you are struggling to find it, I'm sure you're not. Uh, perhaps that's, uh, that's just Luddites like me. Click through on the logo and the magic of the internet will uh, help you download straight away. So that's another uh, quick way to do that. Hodic Media, again, mentioned them before, fantastic. Kashma. Need we say more? Bridging the digital divide, helping us help get to you quicker, making sure that those who want front row seats get them without having to wait on the night. I would hate to be all dressed up with nowhere to go because someone else has clicked on that app and snatched up that seat. Um, I can't wait to see how easy and beautiful it's going to be on the door when we're all like, got my tickets, walking through. And also, I can't wait to see people in the marketplace buying without having to carry cash. All of us have had the pain of notes that fall apart when you pull them out of your bag. People have had the complaint of you holding $500 dollars and uh, someone asking for something that you love that's a 1000 never getting around to buying it. All of these are the things that we're looking to um, eliminate. And on a more serious note, not everyone in the Gambia has an account. This is one of the few apps that allows those traders, those informal traders, to stay safe to stay connected, to stay convenient. And I think um, whilst we all have apps on our phone, um, to say that to load a Gambian app is inconvenient when we have apps from all over the world on our phones, I think it's time for us to stop and look at ourselves and see whether we're citizens of the Gambia or citizens who are hoping that the Gambia serves them. Um, yeah. Uh, Stella. River cruises, if you want to cruise in style. And again, I love being on vacation while I'm right here. Every weekend can be a holiday. I don't need to leave to enjoy the best of the Gambia. And this is one of the reasons why one of our fan most fantastic mentors, someone who's given us the most sound advice, open-heartedly, with no thought of, um, uh, of, of just generosity, and I think um, it's important to always acknowledge that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the mental support of the, some of the people. We've had some fantastic conversations even today, um, and for people who will speak for us in a room when we're not in that room, um, we're blessed uh, to say that there's people who despite all the complaints, despite how difficult it can be, we all have hard days, but there's people who have never met us who are fighting for what we do, who are representing us and sharing and liking what we do, who are downloading the app even as we speak and buying tickets. There are people who, um, when there's opportunities on the table, don't think of themselves. They think of us and others first, and that's something that we have to be hugely grateful for. ITC, another fantastic partner. They have been the backbone of our training over many, many years. Why we've been able to reach out to so many beneficiaries um, in different areas, from our makeup artists to our models.
models to our designers, sustainability training, certificated training for people like our makeup artists. I was having a, a talk to someone who works for one of our national TV companies um, who was saying that her results were delayed um, when she was look, going for a job. And the reason why she got the job was because her capacity was clear. The certificates that we thought didn't really matter, that was just a thank you for people who stood for us, made the difference for someone who, whose mum snatched the phone and I was literally like, thank you. But um, you know, without partners like that, and of course without the other corporate partners who give what they have to make sure that we can do what we can keep doing and that we can entertain, educate and keep pushing the things that we believe build Gambia. Um, massive, massive, massive thanks. Buy perfume. If you were at the marketplace last time, you would have seen them, you would have enjoyed them. Who can say Chosan without the signature scent uh, of, of Gambian homes? Centure, Saint Parfumi, the first um, perfume bar, in fact, that I've been to where you can blend your own different blends. Like we talk about the site, we talk about the sound, we talk about the music, we talk about the, um, uh, the spectacular uh, dancers. Uh, the kankarangs, the zimbas, all of that. Um, but nothing feels like home, like clothes that have been churried beautifully. Um, Buy Perfume have also brought, uh, I believe, a fantastic gift for our lovely lady Sally. <laughs> or oh, what are we going to do that? Another? Th I've given away a secret, haven't I? <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> There's going to be things to come, but anyway, without you know, we we're, we're dealing with all the senses now um, when we have Buy Perfume on board, and we thank them for coming back. Yes, yeah, so um, Buy Perfume were one of the most pivotal people at the marketplace last year. One of the things, again, when we're talking about the Kashmirab and we're talking about the businesses um, that support us, we feel our little way of doing that. In fact, not our little way. Let's not um, minimise it. Our big way of doing that is showing that we support Gambian brands. We support the best of uh, brand Gambia. And our marketplace is a way to do that. We will keep you entertained. If not, these two lovely ladies will be dancing to keep you entertained. No, not really. Um, we will have um, our traditional dancers. We will have hip hop dancers. We will have all the traditional entertainment you can shake a stick at. But we will also have good reason for you to load up your cashmere app and come ready to buy. Um, the best of brands, people who've handcrafted and made things that are safe, that are sexy, and that are sustainable. Uh, those are the things that we hope for everything uh, in the marketplace. Again, stalls are still up for grabs. Do give us a call, call the lovely Musul, um, whose number is... That's what this is now, that's the name. Yeah. Call our phone on 2574016. Uh, again, we're going to send the press packs of these numbers, which I can't remember. I'm reading it. So I definitely can't expect you guys to um, remember it off head. We'll be sending that for you. And uh, all these lovely media partners who so far we haven't spoken about, we thank you. We thank you. For us to have a platform where I can talk till everyone falls asleep is very rare. So um, personally, I give thanks. But to be able to talk about the things that mean so much, that again, um, really are going to help Gambians, not today even, but in generations to come, to stand proudly um, and say that this was where it started. I thought you'd gone. Um, that uh, people like Amzi, it, it makes me proud to think when he mentions that one of his starting points was what we were doing. Um, I want these stories to keep coming, and they, we, our stories are never going to be told if the media aren't here, if the media aren't putting their creative talent to putting our words into a way that their loyal audiences come uh, and find them. So thank you for mentioning um, our wonderful partners and not leaving them out because it's sponsorship, um, but putting it there because it's part of the story of who we are. Thank you for coming through and waiting so patiently today. Thank you for coming with your own invested uh, tools. We underestimate you. And But again, your contribution for what we do so that people who aren't in the same room, who aren't in the same country, can enjoy uh, what we bring to the table. Thank you.
Would you like to introduce, introduce yourself, kind sir? Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Ayodele Yusuf. I'm the communication head for Kashwa. I'm actually here to just give you an insight of um, what uh, Kashma is all about. Kashma is basically um, a payment, uh, a digital payment platform whereby you can make payment without using cash. We have um, over 100 agents around the Gambia where you can make your deposit, you can withdraw cash from your app. And uh, this platform has, is so comprehensive that um, you can do a lot of things with the Kashma app. This is where we come in with the uh, Fashion Weekend Gambia by putting uh, their tickets on our digital ticket platform. So you can buy tickets, digital tickets on the Kashma app. All you have to do is just load your app from one of our agents and you basically go to the service button. Immediately after the service button, you have the button for the tickets. You see a list of tickets, then you can easily buy as much tickets as you as you want to so i don't know if anybody has the app here if you have any question you want to ask about the kashma app i'm open to answer any question um you can use the kashma app in any country you go to right um for now you can only use the app in the gambia, in the gambia. we're trying to dominate the gambia first before we extend to okay. outside the country Okay, how am I? Okay, I know I'm a baby. <laughs> 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 uh, how do you uh, get to? Can you please tell the audience like how you need to get their tickets and how you need to go in their cash? Is it from their own account, from their own like bank account, like transfer, their cash account, or is it like go to an agent and then keep the agent's cash and then puts it into your account? How does it work? Um, you can download the app from uh, if you're using your an Android device, you can download from uh, the Google Play Store. Yes. If you're using the Apple device, um, the iPhone, you can go to the Apple Store. And immediately when you download the app, you can easily walk into any of our agents. We have a um, partnership with um, a lot of agents, uh, any of the Chapman offices in the Oryx gas station. Uh, you can go to any of um, Afro Express outlets. We also have AMM, they are one of our partners. Um, Trust Bank is presently a partner. You can walk into any branch of uh, Trust Bank to make deposit into your wallet. So basically, that's how you can fund your wallet. Because yeah. a lot of people have been asking me on how to put in their cash mark okay, accounts. And yeah. yeah. So that's what have. Uh, we also have Biggest. Biggest is around um, Senegambia. So you can also go there to make deposit on your app too. I would like to make a comment. Okay. Um, so regarding the tickets and the Kashma app, uh, as I was saying, uh, if you're in the Gambia, download the app and purchase the tickets. If you happen to be abroad and you want to pre-book your tickets, um, obviously, if you have a friend in the Gambia, uh, they can purchase for you, or you can contact us on our social media or our email. Our social media is at Fashion Week in Gambia. Uh, or you can go to our website, fashionweekingambia.gm, and just um, send us a message, and we'll find a way um, to get you the tickets. We also have the app, so we can always um, you know, purchase tickets through our own account. Um, uh, for this um, event, for the Fashion Weekend Gambia, there's no cost attached to, to the tickets. So all you have to do is just uh, deposit the money in your app and uh, you just buy the ticket. However, if you do not uh, purchase your ticket via the app and you want to come to the door, uh, if you have any issues that you say you can't, yes. or you don't want to uh, download the app or you have any issues, uh, and you have to purchase it without the app, it will be, um, the ticket price will be a little bit higher. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we encourage people to buy their tickets before the event because you might be buying more expensive at the venue. Yeah. I think also we'd like to have a few extra surprises coming up for those. Oops, sorry. 
no, because I'm still around <laughs> and he'll be bombing across. Uh-uh. Yeah, and I think also we want to um, give a few extra surprises oh, for those who find... Oh, no, 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 that's okay. Oh, okay. For those who are purchasing on the app. So there's more benefits than getting the ticket cheaper, getting it faster, and getting it with no delay uh, than... Um, but yeah, there's more, there's more bonuses than that. We'll also have uh, some very exclusive offers and giveaways to those who are purchasing on the app. So those will be announced on our social media very shortly. Brilliant. So any other questions for our lovely um, Ayo? Yeah. What else can you do in the app, apart from buying a ticket? Can you buy cash power? Can you buy credit? Yes, definitely. You can buy cash power on the app, you can buy credits, you can do a P2P, which is like a peer-to-peer, sending money to another cash power user. And uh, we have uh, agents up to Barra and the uptown country, uh, the province. So if you have people there that don't, that don't have bank accounts, mm-hmm. they can receive money with cash power. With cash power. Yeah. Okay, then actually help me you should do that now. <laughs> okay, and, one, and one question: Do you guys do you guys uh, partner with most of these restaurants and most of these places where you could just go in and then instead of giving them a physical cash, yeah. you could just give them? Yeah. You yeah. could just pay from your. Yeah. Account. Sorry, I was supposed to say that we have a lot of vendors right now. Yeah, there are that's what I a mean. lot of restaurants, <laughs> a lot of. Um, Online businesses, even where we are right now at Tamala, you can spend your Kashma here. And uh, we have um, other events that are listed on the tickets. I don't want to mention brands. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would like to add to that, actually. We have a lot of, um, a lot of people uh, that purchase our tickets normally go to Smile Lounge, who I'd also like to mention as a sponsor of Fashion Weekend this year. They're providing our VIP guests with some lovely goodie bags. Um, but the Smile Lounge is also an yes. outlet for cash bar. For cash bar. Right? You can spend your, ca- you can use your cash bar to buy at uh, Smile Lounge, and uh, they are also an agent. You can make deposit there and also withdraw from from your app. Okay. 